Hey, what's up? So how'd you like the event? I had a wonderful time. You know, being a part of Star Wars and the legacy just continues to grow, so. Right. Now, they had the brother to... Oh, shoot, what's the character? Ray Park's brother character here. Was that one that you thought was a little off for this event, or did it work? You know what, with Star Wars, you never can be too off. I think that's the fun part about it is, in Star Wars, you can be our own character, and you never know what uh, galaxy they come from. Right. But uh, now, everyone gets to enjoy the world. That's what I love about it. Right. I got to ask one thing. You got tons of fans out there. What message would you have to send to your fans for this holidays? Uh, I mean, I think the holidays always remind us to be uh, a family person, you know? No matter what you do within the rest of the year, it's a good time to be out at least get back with your family and enjoy yourself. Uh, and kick your feet up. I do that as much as I can during the year, but uh, yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, enjoy your family for the holiday while you have it. You know, have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year or whatever holiday you celebrate. Okay. One last thing I gotta hit you with. Yeah. All right, you've got a lot of young fans. Sorry, I know. No, that's, that's okay. <laughs> What advice would you give some of your young fans that are dealing with bully issues? See, that was a hard thing. Growing up in New Zealand, there was always a lot of bullies. Uh, but my brother always told me martial arts. So it always allowed me to know that I could defend myself if it came by. But then I also knew I wouldn't want to become a bully like that. But in the bully situation, it's very hard because you don't know what those kids are dealing with at their homes or, or daily issues. And although they might come and take it out on you, I, I think you forget about what goes on in some people's homes and that we're not all living that perfect American dream. Um, but I just feel like, for me, I was never the strongest person, but I was the fastest and quickest runner. So I've always learned how to run from situations, you know what I mean? But I, I don't feel like we should need to in this day and age, you know? With technology and, the, and communication, the way that we're able to verbalize, we don't animals that far back anymore, you know? So we should be able to get along and communicate through words instead of uh, violence and, and fists. Okay, cool. All right, well, thanks a lot for your time. Have a good one. See you.